Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most kind, the most merciful. Hello and thank you again for watching Out of Focus with me, Zain Sadi Rashid. And Out of Focus is a program aimed for <coughs> young teenage girls and um, mainly the, gener um, the younger generation of today's society. It's a program where we discuss topics about um, teenage behaviour and what we are doing generally, the teenagers today, and how we are viewed negatively or, po negatively or positively, and just mainly controversial topics which are important to be discussed. So, as you all know, you know Sabiha, who came to my last um, show. Thank you so much for being here. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. And today we have another brand new guest called... Masha. Masha, oh, that's a wonderful name. Thank you. <laughs> oh, mashallah. Oh, how old are you? I'm 13, but I'm going to turn 14 on June the 3rd. Oh, is it? Your birthday's coming up? Yeah. <laughs> oh. So, what school do you go? Chadwell Heath Academy. Oh. So, um, what are your favourite subjects? Um, Masha. Well, I like maths. And I also like the humanities. Oh, this one is like maths for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you like maths then? Yeah. Good at you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you like? Um, I guess ICT, because I need a, like a it's lot. It's very of complicated. Time. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like it? Oh, thank you so much for meeting you, Maisha. It's nice to meet you too. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. So today's topic is ambition and challenge. So, what are your views about ambition and challenge? So, what are your ambitions? Well, one of my ambitions would be to apply knowledge and give out education to people. So, when I grow up, hopefully, I become a successful teacher. Because a teacher, wow, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah, and um, a secondary school. Uh, um, yeah, know. secondary would secondary. be because it would influence them. What more. kind of year? Um, seven yeah. to thirteen, so like higher mm. years, and you know, with no knowledge comes vulnerability. So. To be able to have that position, giving knowledge to others would be You're a great You're literally like a guide, yeah. Yeah. Being a teacher is a wonderful job. Very. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. really rewarding as well. Yeah, it's a really good ambition to have, yeah. Mm. So it's really hard to become one though, isn't it? You yeah. have to complete masters and all do all of them. Yeah. Yeah, so I you're guess. working hard, studying hard? Um, well, I'm trying to enjoy the subjects I study so I can yeah. take them further into teaching. But yeah, Allah has, you know, got me this far. Yeah, and it's gone good. That's really yeah. good. Inshallah, you become one. Thank you. Mashallah, inshallah. Inshallah. So, what about you? What are your uh, um, aspirations, your um, ambitions? Well, when I'm older, I'd like to become a doctor and study medicine. A doctor? Wow. Yeah. Mashallah, that's really good. Thank you. Oh my God, that's going to be really hard to get. Hard, isn't yeah. It? Very sure, hard to get into medical, medical stuff. Wow. So you, you two have such amazing uh, <laughs> ambitions. I don't even know what I'm going to become when I'm older. Literally. I'm, yeah. I'm thinking what, but it's really hard, isn't it? I but know. does it matter? Like I don't think it should matter right now because um, how old are you, by the way? Fourteen. Fourteen. So you still have a lot of time, I guess, to you know um, see what you like, and you know you still have one year of GCSEs, and you know if you yeah. take steps, you will soon find out what you enjoy. Yeah. So you're the oldest one in there, so you're yeah, I guess so. <laughs> seventeen. Yeah, wow, 17. See, so you must have experienced life, everything, isn't it? <laughs> no, <laughs> you know, you've got a lot, a lot more yeah, to Yeah, we've got a lot to learn. Yeah. But I think, like, once you know what you're going to do, I think you'll succeed in it. So. Yeah. So currently, I'm just literally studying and stuff, but yeah. um, obviously. But I think the big, the main I thing for being grades. a woman, Isla like, Islamic woman, is to, like, be a good person within yourself yeah. Isn't it? yeah within to be a good person and have that obviously we have ambitions and goals but this is for our life our life here yeah. isn't it yeah. at the end of the day we should always our number one priority again yeah. is our life um try after and get death. it to heaven and stuff. jannah that's yeah. literally our main thing mm -hmm. that's what we want in it we're doing everything to get inside there yeah everyone wants to go to heaven but yeah. it's not that easy isn't it but it's good that we have um, ambitions for now because if you live a good life here, yeah. then obviously it'd be good that you have a much better life in the hereafter. But it's very hard, isn't it? Yeah. It's not easy no. just to become a teacher like that. No, to become a doctor like that mm. even. Because you, you have, have to, to have like work 
hard. Oh, like, do you know how many people want to become a doctor? <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, 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 no. Yeah, like so many. Like, it's not like you can't become yeah, one, yeah, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. Wow. But you have to study hard and have like faith. Faith in Allah and yeah. faith in you. So before your exams and stuff, do you like, so you do your GCs season and do you like pray? Um, I currently do my A levels, I'm in my first year. Is it? But you know your GC exams, did you pray? GCSEs? Yeah. Yeah, I, I prayed, obviously. Obviously, you know, it's mandatory. Like, yeah. But um, I guess Allah is most listening to you when you're in times of need. So yeah. obviously, I knew what um, certain grades I needed to, you know, achieve um, my grades. So obviously, I'd pray more. So I'll do the sunnahs, I'll do extra prayers so that, you know, Allah would listen. Oh yeah, that's so that's really obviously good, yeah. in, when you're in times of need. Because yeah, you can do your exam, obviously you revise. Obviously if you pray and then you don't revise, you can't expect to get yeah, an A star, but exactly. you have to do but, both. Yeah, but do you but you can't just um study and not pray because you need to have that um um yeah. certainty that that belief that you are gonna and Allah's gonna help you get that, isn't it? Mm. So you just do both, you maintain both, pray and then study as well. Have you got your exams coming up soon? Um well, I have my SATs exam for Maths, English oh, and Science. Oh, SATs is very important. Yeah. yeah. SATs is really, no, literally is really important because, but what year are you in? Year nine. Year nine? Are you not supposed to do them in year six? Pardon? Are you not supposed to do them in year six? Uh, well, my school is an academy, oh, so they get to different. decide what to do. Yeah, because I did like all right in my SATs, so that's why I got really good opportunities in secondary mm -hmm. school because the people that don't do good in their SATs, in secondary school, they got they get they don't get to be part of anything yeah. anything clever basically. Uh, okay. Yeah. So I did I did alright. Yeah, I think SATs is important in indicating where you can um, go further in life. So um, because I didn't do that well in my SATs, oh. they, uh, my target grades for GCSEs were like Bs. So obviously, the th um, the results you get when you do SATs that'll result into your target grades. Yeah, but the target grades are just target yeah, grades. And they're they're just, yeah, and they're not your. Yeah. Make you Sometimes win. teachers actually put it lower to yeah. try lower what, motivate try, you. Yeah. So yeah, but then that that's I don't I don't like that. They should put it higher. I think that yeah. kind no, of but then that most might most get into the students' head and they might not perform as well. And yeah, then so might I be think big headed, isn't yeah, it? Like, I know everything. Yeah, I average. Mm. Yeah, literally studying is all my life now. Literally, because yeah, I've got my exams in year eleven. I'm time. so stressed out. Mm. Literally, like was you was you? Well, inshallah, you'll do well. Oh, thank you. <laughs> inshallah, you'll do well. Thank you. What was you stressed out? Yeah, I was stressed out last year and very much so this year as well because A levels are known to be oh. the bane of people. Oh, don't life. put me off. I'm doing my GCs <laughs> now. As <laughs> you know, off if you love subjects, use pick. Uh, so it's yeah, good it's good that you can pick subjects because GCs are compulsory. Yeah. Maths, you have to do. Yeah. Oh, that means you pick maths. No, I, I had to like do it because it's compulsory. You, you need that in A levels. C oh no, no, not A levels. I'm just speaking from GCSE. I didn't like uh, maths. Uh, uh, didn't. GCSE. Thank God you don't have to do it then. That's no. really good. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I can't wait to just throw my. I, I literally on the last day of my exams, I'm just gonna burn all my books. No, <laughs> like I guess you should like um, you know, give all your best in all your subjects instead of like if you do. Constraining on maths. Yeah, God forbid if you fail like one of them, you would have to redo them. Yeah, yeah, in maths so and English. No, apparently they're taking the redos away. They're literally changing all the education system. You know, yeah. your year was a year, nine? yeah, year ten, year, year nine. I don't think it's your school. Is it your school? Basically, they're changing everything and they're making GC so much harder. They're yeah. making it like oh, O level. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're doing that to R. Yeah. And they, the pi the books they pick for like oh English and stuff. It's God. like classics. That's and so didn't sad didn't on me. Well, I wish we did, but. But then, yeah, yeah, it's just basically harder. Mm -hmm. But then we yeah. have basically you're not going to get grades. You're going to get points. Like yeah, 40s, mm -hmm. yeah, something yeah. like that. I was told that they were going to totally change the grade system, so instead of A's and B's, it's going to be like 1 and 8. Oh. Yeah, that, that's true. My sister yeah. has that um, points. So. Oh, that's sad. They just, just work hard, don't yeah. Inshallah, yeah. you get through. Thank you. What about me, though? What, what's your, um, what was your exam board at Excel? For GCSEs? Yeah, maths. They were, um, yeah, for maths, it yeah. was at Excel. Do you know how many, like, they they put like 50 topics yeah. in one book. Yeah. And <laughs> these 50 topics have range 10 from, topics. Yeah, within. they range from year seven knowledge to... Exactly. Yeah. It's too much. They give too much. There's a limit, okay? It, it's too much like patho... Uh, Pythagoras. Um, yeah, that. And then, and then all these other things, vector. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> they, they, there's too much, okay? You know like sociology and geography, this yeah. little subject, this little bit of information, you just have to memorise memorize it, that's it, it done. But maths is just, but English as well. 
English as well, wouldn't it? English is... No, English is fine. Just memorise your quotes, quotes and just have oh, good vocabulary. Oh, don't memorise your quotes. You can see your quotes in the exam. Uh, no, but I'm talking about the new syllabus because it's going to oh. be closed and... <gasps> yeah, for the new... You, you, have, to mem you have to memorise your quotes. Oh, my and God. That's <laughs> the as well, but that's fine. But I'm talking I about... I don't have like to do that. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. We can just look in the book. Yeah. Yeah, but then... It's not about memorising because you have to... You have to uh, know your structure. Use big words. Yeah. Not, not. Yeah. yeah. Use big words. No, if you use like. If you can get your words across, like, um, in a way that is understandable to the examiner, then it should be fine. You don't have to use big what words. What did you get for GC? Um, I got an A star for English. <laughs> but oh my god, mashallah! A star, yeah, easy. All right then, A star. <laughs> is. Um, oh my god, wow, that's so good. How'd you get A star? I want A star. <laughs> um, How'd you get A? Tell me. <laughs> you just have to, you know, know what the examiner wants. So do you, how do you revise for English? I always wonder that. How do you revise? Yeah. Just generally. Just there's no book that you, says, oh, okay. memorise this and then I'll just. So, they're not like, so do you know what books you're studying for GCSE? Did you do English? AQA? Yeah. So what books are you studying? Like. Um, mice did, and men. Okay, so imagine you hate that book or whatever. Yeah, you just it. you just pretend to love it so much, and then just pick out certain bits that you think you can pretend talk to about. Love it. So pretend, pretend to love it, and then if you pretend to love it, which you shouldn't do, but yes. pretend you say because a lot of my friends they didn't like English, and just pick out the bits that you think you could talk about and rant about, and then you know if you can I make. Keep talking, points. but then the problem is if you waffle, isn't it? If you yeah. waffle and you talk excessive. That's why yeah. you structure it. One paragraph maybe about language, one paragraph about the feelings, and then that's your marks right there. Not just waffle. Yeah, my friends um, are doing an early my course after she think she um, um, from college, isn't it? She no, she's not going to go to college. She's going to do apprenticeship and stuff. Oh, that's. So cool. I think it's, yeah. I th I think. Um, but then apparently Islamic schools are more um, stricter with like subjects like English and maths and stuff. They put yeah. more stuff in I it. I think in GCSE, if you go to an Islamic school, it's compulsory because obviously you need these. Yeah, obviously, yeah. But, but then they're, they're really, yeah, they're, they're really strict, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but in college. Plus, you have to do Arabic and all these Islamic mm. studies within that. It's just, there's a lot of pressure. But then at the end of the day, you're doing Islamic studies. That's yes. it. Yeah. That you're getting swab for it, obviously, isn't it? You're getting swab for it. So that's ambition and challenge. Yeah, so we talked about the challenges, isn't it? The challenge is like, the previous episode we were talking about getting tempted yeah to um doing like, like eating yeah, fatty foods, foods. and also i think off. like it's kind of hard for people to pursue, pursue their dreams when there's like money temptations. issues or, or yeah or temptations, like, money issues debt yeah or like, if they don't have enough support from their family yeah that's true yeah. or like, enough information yeah and um like say if you want to start a business and like you don't have the right money yeah. and stuff. That's why it's good. That's where so the education comes. So education, so many complications. Yeah, yeah, education. Yeah, schools yeah. really do help, but sometimes they don't teach properly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why you go out of the way it's and just be like, really I have my own ambition and just yeah. do. Because even, because I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, but some one of my teachers, she literally all she does double lesson science. You see exam in May, yeah. All she does. She comes in the room, she goes on the iPhone and she goes, read your textbook and answer questions. Yeah, that was exactly yeah. why. Oh yeah. my God. Like, what is this? You're supposed to teach, like, I, I really like when people, uh, like, teachers proper teach and they, they say, oh, do you understand that? Do you, I really, yeah. I, I just get And they're actually yeah, enthusiastic they're actually and they want you to care about that. education. I, I love that about teachers, but some teachers don't, they, they don't just, they say, read the textbook, do, do it yourself. Okay, I understand being independent is one thing, yeah, but yeah. what's the point? I can do this at home. Do you get what I'm saying? I can do it at home. Why don't I just um, just, uh, just not come to school then? What's the point of you being a teacher and getting yeah. paid? Why don't you teach us? Yeah. So you can't really depend on the teacher that much. Yeah, so you can't. You have to do your own It depends work. on if your teacher's good, isn't it? It depends yeah. uh, on the teacher. But in my opinion, I don't think my teacher's all that. So it's all dependent on me now, isn't it? My parents obviously can help me. Yeah. But it's literally up to up me. Because no matter what my parents say about oh, work hard, study, it's... Ew. They can only say stuff like that. They can only push so you, but yeah. then at the end of the day, it's what you do and stuff. But obviously, like when it comes to revising, like do you get distracted? Do you? Uh, yeah, there's so many distractions. Like yeah, when like you phone. want to be with your family, your brother, and to phone, your phone, isn't going it? out, yeah. everything. It just gets. I don't. In the way. I don't really. Go, I literally do not go out at all. I literally stay <laughs> in my house. Oh, my yeah, whole, what have you been doing these holidays? Revising. Well, we went Birmingham and Leicester, but oh, that yeah. was. 
air and I was I I had yeah, that in mind that I had to yeah. revise I had to revise but all I did was uh, revise or just yeah. sit down and do nothing because sometimes when I revise I don't like, I'm, I'm sitting down and I have the book in my hands but I just think that's yeah. what happens I hate I hate yeah, my yeah. you think why are you doing this but then you get this realization that I have to yeah do it but again. then then I just think about other things you get what I'm saying that's yeah. what distracts me I thought to distract me isn't it yeah, yeah. yeah. when you're studying you just think about something else oh this is kind of boring this is, oh yeah. you think about something that's that's main that's I hate when that happens. That's why I, I kind of um, like, like, not to be like too much of a quiet room. Otherwise, you'll just. Oh, and I take loads of breaks. I take like yeah. a bit more. I take loads of breaks. Like, yeah, I'm taking breaks is good, but not too much. Yeah, either, but I, I do too much. I have to. You just take like do what if you're gonna do like geography or something, or say maths for example, do one hour maths and then. After half an hour, just take one five minute break, isn't it? Or is yeah. that way too much? No, it's fine. No, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So you have to proper revise your short bursts and then take short breaks. I think what's good about my school is that if you need any help, the teachers are willing to like give you their really? own time. I find it really awkward to ask. Yeah. I find it really awkward. Yeah, like, that was me. But I don't, I, I don't want to, like, I don't, because. I don't want them to like, be like, oh, like stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. that's but what they do. My teachers school. like come to the students. They're like, oh, is it okay if you can, like, if it's possible for you to stay behind? And I'm like, yeah. Oh, stay behind. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> Beats when teachers say that. Stay behind, so <laughs> you know, Oh my god, I get so because that that means you're in trouble basically in my school. So, um, mm. so that's it really. Challenge and ambition in it. Yeah. Yeah, so you're going to be a teacher, then what? <laughs> you know, what goes on from there? Every single day you're going to do the same thing over and over again? Not really, because every single day you might have a new student one day or someone that needs extra help and it just, you know... they naughty kids, isn't it? Yeah. Those are naughty kids. But it's nice to see that you make a difference in someone's yeah. lives. Oh, yeah. You're helping true. them get through a stage that, you know... Because obviously, um, the, the, like, I, I, want, I always dreamt of like, an inspirational teacher. Mm. You know them proper. Yeah. yeah. You know little kids and like yeah. oh. when they're little they used to like they always yeah. like and pretend to be oh, teachers. What's this? What's th yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, and then yeah, they're really cute, yeah. I watch movies like that in the <laughs> Yeah, it's really good, isn't it? So what about you? What are you, are you gonna do your doctor? Um, I haven't like really figured it out, but maybe somewhere in science. Yeah, somewhere in science, yeah. yeah. I might because I I'd like to study um like psychology. Yeah, I want like to do psychology, yeah, be a therapist stuff. and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's really interesting. Like, try it? and make people happy. And yeah, yeah. Um, no, try to fix their lives yeah. and then make them happy. Yeah. <laughs> first fix their lives first. Yeah. Because <laughs> they're, they're, cause they're all, be, they got, like, mental problems and stuff. But when they come to a therapist, they, yeah. they get fixed. And you get reward from Allah. So. Yeah, you get reward from Allah and you get money, isn't it? Yeah. Being a therapist pays a lot. But, the other, but, but all these high qualified jobs need to a lot of effort from now because what you do now depends yeah absolutely yeah um your future isn't it so do you go out and stuff um i mostly go out with my family or my family members like have a get together oh. at my house or their house oh that's it so you just stay at home and revise um yeah most of the time yeah that's that's really good i think i think at this age you should just make your your, your main focus should be just praying and yeah study that's it you can go out and stuff, but yeah. there's a limit, isn't it? There's a borderline. So what about you? Do you go out? Yeah, um, well, now that I've got my A-levels, my teacher literally just told me how I have to cancel out every single evening from now on that I do. What? That's how, like, A-level so, is. So, so every evening you... I can't afford to miss um, revision, so... You know, I don't want to be repeating the year, so obviously, inshallah, that won't happen. So from now on, I just cancel out. Apart from me being here today, but that's an exception. So that's my life until June the ninth. So. Wow. What well, if there's something <laughs> important? Like, something important, like a I don't know, like a Islamic. I don't know something important, like an yeah. important event. You have to go. Can you miss it? It won't happen during the exam season. I hope. Oh my God! I can never do that. With all. Yeah. But. That yeah. is extreme, that's... But if you think about it, you just finished Easter and you're not going to be wanting to go out right now already during exam season, so... It so when's exam season finish again? Okay, my one start on May the 12th. 
Oh, my, my, my exam is um, 20 May and then 5 June is another exam. Yeah. And that's it done. I only got two exams. Yeah. And so then, easy you know, Ramadan's Miles coming up. The so. end of April and in yeah. June. Yeah. Yeah. And then the rest I just got mocks and stuff. Are mocks important? Yeah, I think it's, they're a good indicator of where you are for the teachers. But yeah. I don't think it should be something it's that should let you down or it, get you. Yeah. yeah it's important to do well in them. I have a cousin and he did really well in his mocks, but he like kind of failed in his actual GCSE yeah. thing. Oh my God. Yeah, but luckily he got into like a really good sixth form. That's yeah. because he done well with his mocks and no, the teacher knows that he's a good student. So why did you do bad in GC? I think it's probably because of the pressure. Mm. Yeah, oh, peer, um, pressure yeah. Uh, from parents and teachers. Yeah. That's a big issue, isn't it? Exactly. Um, and happening to teenagers these days. Yeah, isn't it? and if you have like friends that are like smarter than you, then it would make oh. you feel <laughs> Oh, I hate that. Yeah. And like also, but people I'm not get better, c better uh, grades than you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not trying to be like stereotypical, but like sometimes a lot of Asian parents they like to compare other students yeah. Yeah, and absolutely. what grades they get. Yeah, and, stuff. and if yeah. you're not at the top, and then you have like you have to be get you have yeah. to get not nine but ten. Yeah, you have to get that ten A star, ten out of ten, mm -hmm. isn't it? That's that's very important for Asian parents, and because um, like because you you know everyone in your class literally you're all in competition. Yeah, mm -hmm. who gets the highest grades? Who is the top um, person in the student in the class? Because even my friend was telling me, we're all in competition, literally, we're yeah. all in competition. So, whether we listen, whether we uh, choose to um, work hard is up to us, obviously. Yeah. It's literally so important, because if you don't do well, that's it for your future, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's scary to think that one exam will just... Oh my God, <laughs> stop <laughs> reminding me. <laughs> stop reminding me, oh my God. I, just, I, just, I, I know, I think it as well. I, I, yeah. I always imagine... Um, I always imagine like um, being in that GCC hall. Like, I can't yeah. imagine it. I think I'm the faint or something. I, I, I but think that's why mocks are there, so they they like make you. Do you know my mocks exam was literally like just any um, any day. Literally, we were in our classroom. We, it was terrible. You do mocks in your classroom. Yeah, but I, I think do mocks that's in my better classroom. because um, people say that if you do a test people when you normally study on the mock, people cheated. You just got that book out. The teacher doesn't care. Where did you do your mocks? We do them in the hall. Like, in a proper DC exam yeah, thing. Yeah, where oh. we actually did it. So. Yeah, our school does the same. And we had like That's individual really and good. stuff oh watching God. us. I'm in love with the schools. <laughs> Are the teachers good? Um, Are your teachers not that good? That's what you said, didn't you? The teachers. No, I've never said You were that. agreeing with me when I oh, said... Well, in my secondary school, I've had some like horrible teachers, which is why I decided oh, just to like move one to or a two. new school. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 yeah. But my new system is great. Like, That's really good. Really good yeah. Having good teachers. That's excellent. Oh, unfortunately, that is it for today. I've got only a short time left. Um, have you got anything to summarise? Any last words? Um, treat your education wisely, guys, and um, your future in yeah. your hands. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the in your hands. That's the end of you know, a commercial yeah, or something, yeah. isn't it? You're leading your own way. Literally, it's in your hands. Like what you do right now is what happens to you, um, to you in ten years' time, isn't it? No yeah. pressure. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> All right then. Thank you so much for watching Out of Focus. And thank you, um, thank you. Sabiha. Yeah. Sabiha. What a beautiful name. And thank you, Mashal. Thank you. Beautiful name as well. Mashallah. Thank you so much for coming. I really enjoyed today. Did you enjoy it, guys? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.